Good morning, guys, and welcome back to a brand new week. We are starting, I believe it is the second week of November. Yeah, it is the second week of November. Oh, I forgot to put my plants up. I have Pothos that is right next to you. You can't see it, but I can. <laughs> and I need to put them up. Anyways, let me do the intro because I'm talking a lot. <laughs> If you're new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette, and in this series, I document my my what? My weight loss journey in a weekly vlog. I show you guys what I eat every day, and I show you guys the workouts and exercises that I do to lose weight, to burn fat, and hopefully gain some muscle, <laughs> which legs definitely gain a lot faster muscle than my arms do, mainly because I'm not going that heavy with the weights during these times because I only have one set. Anyways, if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video. Subscribe so you can keep up to date with your favorite girl on the internet. That's me, by the way. And comment down below. Say hi. I say hi back. Without further ado, let's get into this week's video. So this week is... I'm thinking it's going to be a good one. It's supposed to snow today, but it doesn't seem like it's going to snow this morning. So my plan is, which I need to get up on the workout, is to do an ab workout and possibly... I, I think I want to do legs and butt. I might do arms. What I kind of want to do going forward with my workouts is doing two days of upper body and two days of lower body per week. So that's four weeks that's four workouts a week that's kind of what I was doing when I was going to the gym every day in person I, I would do like a couple upper a couple lower and I would have cardio days as well so I would typically work out four to five times a week I was very consistent with that for a while and I kind of want to get back into working out four to five times a week with that type of regimen I already do work out four to five like four three to four times a week I would say but four to five I definitely want to like push it so yeah that is what I am going to do is I'm gonna see yeah I would like to retain like a sort of schedule for myself with my workouts because I feel like I kind of just do whatever and for a while I think last week and the week before I was doing a lot well last week I did a little bit more legs focused which was great loves that and I feel like the week before that, I was doing very full body, which is fine. And then three weeks ago, I feel like I was doing more arm stuff. I don't know. It just it felt like I wasn't really keeping a balance, and I definitely want to keep that balance. So my goal is to try to have two times a week upper, two times a week lower, and then get cardio in there in between. So this morning, it's about 7 o'clock, probably 7.05 by now, and I'm going to do abs. I think Mondays and Wednesdays I want to do lower body, but uh, I'll see what I end up feeling. I think today I feel like I should do upper body to give my lower body a break from last week of doing a lot of lower body, mainly because... I kind of felt it the next day on Saturday morning. I was just like, I like bent down to get something and I was like, ooh, I feel this. <laughs> All right, let's get the workout this morning. Without you, what I'm gonna do without you? I 
All right, just finished the workout. Did abs, as you saw, and I did my arms. I feel as though I just need to go on a walk today um, for my mental health to get outside. And moving my body indoors is great, but getting outside really, really does make a world of difference for me. So I'm gonna go on a little walk. I might try to take you guys with me because the reason why I never took you guys before with me was because my camera was massive and this camera is small so it can fit in my pocket and I can just show my feet maybe <laughs> of me walking but there might not be any more leaves so I may not but anyways I'm gonna go for a walk and I will catch you guys later I decided to boil my Brussels sprouts instead of frying them so that they're not as uh, crispy. I will, I think I'll crisp them after they finish boiling just so I can get like the right amount of crispiness. But yeah, essentially, I'm just gonna have a sausage <laughs> with Brussels sprouts. I'll show you guys how I'm boiling them it's it's self-explanatory literally just have them in water and boiling them good morning so it currently snowed last night so everything is looking nice and frosted. I am going to do the standing ab workout like I always do because I really enjoy that workout. I can feel my deep, deep, deep abs. <laughs> and yeah, also my skin is looking so nice and clear, which is great. Yesterday I went to World Market. I like going to World Market because I go there to get Christmas gifts for people. I think it's one of the best places to get gifts because they just have such a unique curation of items, even for your home. Like it's a great place to shop for your home and the quality is really good from World Market. Now 
I follow a lot of British YouTubers, which I'm not going to harass you with my horrible English accent. I know it's not good. I'm sorry. I apologize. Also, the sound that you can hear is my heater. Because it's on auto, so it like comes on. I'm not going to explain heating and air conditioning to you. But I've heard about these chocolate covered biscuits for quite some time. And I thought the name was very interesting because I did not grow up with this name of hearing a biscuit. And a biscuit meaning it's just a cookie type of dessert type of thing. They are, let me see, digestives. I got the milk chocolate flavored coated wheat biscuits and they are delicious. I had four of them last night. So a serving size of two cookies is 170 calories. And there's about nine servings in each package. So I got the milk chocolate ones and I got the dark chocolate ones. The dark chocolate ones I'm going to have later on, but I decided to try out the milk chocolate ones. I also had these Pocky sticks. If I can find a picture, I will insert it, but they're really good. My roommate from when I lived in my last house had them and had me try one. And I really, really liked them. So I had them at the weekend as well. So yeah, I've had quite a few sweets, but you know what? That's okay. We're learning to say that all food is good food. And I know this, all food is good food. I just have to really embody that for myself and live that out realistically and practically for myself on this weight loss journey and not beat myself up for when I have good food, comfort food, food that is higher in calorie because that is okay. Sometimes we do that and I cannot beat myself up over it. So anyways, I'm going to get on with this standing workout. As you guys know, I love me some repetition. <laughs> I just prefer it. Like if I know what's going to come and I know it's going to burn, then yeah, I feel like I like doing things the same with like my food and my workouts until I get tired of it and then I start switching it up. So it could be a year and that's fine too. We're all different. <laughs> I am going to continue listening to my playlist. I charged my headphones, my Bose headphones. I really love these. Although I feel like AirPods, not the pros, but AirPods would be so much better because they're thinner and I won't have to worry about them sliding. Not that these slide that much, but you know, if I go on the floor and lay down, sometimes they go, they do slide a little bit, but when I'm fully erect, ugh, bad word choice. When I'm fully erect, I, I'm in good standing. So anyways, I'm gonna get this workout.
So, I had more digestives. I had two more servings, which is four cookies. And I had four cookies last night before bed. So, that was my breakfast this morning. <laughs> I do feel full from it, but also a little bit sickly because I'm like, I, that was a lot. That was a lot of digestives. I feel like the perfect amount really is just two, at least for the chocolate covered digestives. But, I am a fan. These are so good. I'm so glad that they sell them at World Market. I'm getting on with work. I am in the coziest robe ever. You guys saw that I was in like this pullover yesterday. I got it from Costco, which Costco clothing lasts such a long time and they have really good quality. Minus that one legging, high tech legging that I got. It was really thin and I put it in the dryer and it got bobbly and I was just like, okay, lesson learned. Don't put it in the dryer. But then when I got another one and I put it into the washer, same thing, it got bobbly and just started disintegrating. And I'm just like, no, this is not good quality for me. And they were really thin and they did not keep me warm. Anyways, I digress, but well, I'm on this tangent. We're gonna stay on it. <laughs> but yeah, I got the pullover yesterday and I got in a purple color because they had other colors that I liked, but I was like, you know what? Go for something fun. Go for something that you normally wouldn't. So I went for lavender and got a lavender moment. Saw a robe and got it in 
a couple sizes too big, but the reason why I did was simply due to the fact that the length would be a lot longer on me if I got it bigger, which honestly, it is perfect. It like hits, I would prefer it to hit my ankle a little bit more, but it hits close enough to my ankle. So, cause I find robes are pretty short on me. I don't know if I've stated this, but I'm 5'7". 5'8 on a good day if I have good posture, but 5'7 and a half. So that is the height of your girl. She is 5'7 and a half. So I'm average height. I'm not super tall. I'm not super short, but I do have longer legs. Although I feel like my torso and my leg ratio, my torso to leg ratio seem equal. I definitely do have more length in my legs for some odd reason it just seems longer because when i sit down to my other friends who are a little bit shorter than me they will come off higher in the seat and that's because they have a longer torso whereas i just have my torso like matches i mean if we're going from head to hip and then hip to foot the bottom of my feet i would say they match i think they do Maybe my torso is short. I'm really questioning a lot of things right now. This does not matter, but I have a short toes. We'll just end with, I have a short torso. I think that's fair, right? Anyways, but yes, five, seven and a half. And typically robes do hit me a little bit shorter, sometimes just around my ankle, like my like mid calf. And I'm not really a fan of that. I like really long robes. And so this one just feels so nice. And it was 15 doll hairs, which is such a good deal for a really nice, comfy, cozy, warm robe, especially from Costco. And that pullover yesterday was $9.99. So basically 10 doll hairs. And yes, I'm saying doll hairs if you don't like it. So anyways, I'm gonna get on with working and I will check in with you guys for lunch. I'm gonna try to focus on drinking a lot of water today because I definitely have not been drinking a lot of water the past couple days and need to up the hydration. having another digestive they're so good so good truly so good I'm currently making some turkey burgers with Brussels sprouts and I'm boiling two eggs turkey burgers look gross and I don't want to put you guys through seeing me cook them because they were raw and they're being cooked and then obviously cooking it with the Brussels sprouts a little bit. I'm gonna have one more digestive. They're just so good. I had no idea I was gonna be this addicted. But two in a setting is... So there it is. Nice. Little wheat right there. Oh, gosh. So, today was kind of uneventful besides the fact that I had so many chocolate digestives. They're just really good. They're really good. But tomorrow's plan, oh, I need to fix this. I like changed the lighting situation in my room, so it's a lot more efficient, which I'm very excited about. Okay, that's no longer twirling in on itself. But essentially, tomorrow I plan on doing, I think I wanna do the full body workout. I'm not entirely sure. 
but I know for sure I want to go on a walk tomorrow. So, and it's only Wednesday tomorrow. We're only halfway through the week, which is kind of crazy. And I realize we're halfway through the month, about to be halfway through the month. This is insane. But yeah, that is all my updates for today. Nothing's really going on. My last meal, you guys saw what it was. It's very tasty. I have basically two more biscuits left of the package of digestives that I got at World Market. So nothing left to, to give anymore. So yep, that's all the sweet stuff. After that, I'll probably have the other two tomorrow and then no more sweets. <laughs> I can't buy any more sweets, especially this week would be the last week that I could buy any sweets anyway. I think you guys can guess what's coming, but you guys will find out next week at the beginning of next week's vlog. I know I'm being a tease, but you know, I just, I kind of want it to be a surprise. You know, I'm not even sure if I should reveal it in next week's vlog or not. Comment down below. Let me know if I should. Or not or should I keep or should I should I keep the suspense going the mystery <laughs> if you haven't figured out what's happening um, yeah anyways I'll check in with you guys tomorrow my eyes are still a little bit numb I did an eye appointment today this afternoon so I had to get my eyes looked at so I can get my glasses my prescription like updated and ready to go along with it being blue light efficient because I look at a computer all day. I got some really cute glasses. They're kind of funky and fun. So fun key. <laughs> I guess that wasn't that great. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't a good one. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Anyways, I got some really cool glasses, which you guys will see in a couple weeks because they will be finalized and ready in two weeks so I got that done thought about going to the dentist and I was like well we'll wait till next year for the dentist I don't I need a I don't know how I feel about having people look into my mouth this year not with whatever is going on I don't know about that eyes is a different thing because you can keep your mask on but dentist you have to be fully exposed and I don't know if I'm ready for that like, oh, I have to prepare myself. Anyways, I am rambling. I will see you guys tomorrow morning, bright and early. I'm going to edit some videos, get things uploaded and ready for the gram and for YouTube. I'm trying to get things scheduled and be more organized with my content. So if you haven't already, please do follow me on Instagram. I am very active on there every day so you can keep up with me in real time and what's going on real time and you can be the first to know any suspenseful things that might be happening in these vlogs you'll find out first if you follow me on on Instagram so follow me on Instagram same handle Jasmine Rosette as it is everywhere keep it all the same so I'm easy to find but yeah I will check in with you guys tomorrow for my workout.
Sexiest Man Alive, which, I mean, has not been relevant for, I guess, since George Clooney got it for, like, the third time. Um, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out, like... Ryan Little. <laughs>
All right, guys. So Friday, haven't really eaten that much. I will say, I did have some soup for dinner along with two peanut butter cookies and a spiked apple cider. It was apple cider with caramel vodka, which is a really great adult fall beverage. But yeah, that is what I had for dinner slash dessert. I have had quite a bit of sweets. I am trying to curb my sweet tooth because I do have a pretty big sweet tooth and I'm doing that to further prevent future health problems that could arise with having a lot of sweets all the time. So I'm trying to be better about that. But yeah, that is what I had for dinner slash dessert tonight and I will check in with you guys tomorrow morning for a weigh in. Right now I feel incredibly bloated and gassy. So I'm gonna lay on my back, put my knees to my chest and hopefully I will find relief. <laughs> I just, yeah. It's a plane. <laughs> oh wow. It's like rare that I hear planes very very interesting i never thought that would be something that i would ever say but it is 2020 and for a while i didn't see a lot of planes or hear them so it is currently 7 55 in the morning i typically do my weigh-ins closer to when i'm about to eat um so i still have quite a while but i have a very busy morning before I have my breakfast. I need to go get my car looked at. I need to go pick up some boxes because I'm selling some stuff. Uh, I'm like selling my old camera <laughs> equipment, which I'm really excited. Like people are buying it. So that's really exciting. I have to go get my car looked at. I need to go to Target, pick up the supplies and then i need to oh and then i'm gonna go hang out with cub i'm gonna try to come back home in between that so i can weigh myself before i eat food because that's just the order i do things which is crazy so i'm not gonna take you guys along this journey because it would be very boring or maybe you do enjoy like seeing what I get up to in the in the real world outside down yonder just my hand for reference <laughs> oh man this year so let me know in the comments below if you want to see more in these vlogs of me going out I mean, <laughs> yeah, just let me know if that's something that you guys want in the future and I will make it happen. Hey guys, I am currently headed to Cub's place and I thought I would give you guys the weight loss update. I am 217. So maintaining there, which is not a bad thing, considering that I did have a lot of chocolate digestives, but hey, we move. Anyways, I'm gonna continue on and I was checking with you guys later. So I just dropped off Cub and we went to a coffee shop at my old place and I got this latte, which is my favorite latte. I make it at home as well. Haven't been making it recently, but it's called the Grinch. It is a matcha latte with oat milk and pistachio syrup. It is so good, so delicious, and so creamy. Ugh, it's so good. If you like matcha lattes, I'm sure you would love this drink. It's called the Grinch. It's delicious. So we had that, and I also had an almond croissant with raspberry filling. And now it is about one o'clock 
and I am headed to Target to see about a side table. If they have it, I may get it. If they don't, I probably won't. <laughs> Simple as that. So that is what I had. I forgot to film it because I didn't bring my camera into the coffee shop with me. So I'm ending the week here. If you made it this far, I appreciate you for making it to the end. <laughs> I know these vlogs are not the shortest ones, but I try to, you know, compact it as much as I can while showing you as much as I can at the same time. So yeah, a little, a little contradictory there, but that's okay. But another week down for the books. Ended at 217, which is not bad. Had a pretty good eating day I would say like just eating what I wanted today was a treat yourself kind of week but yeah all will be revealed next week I'm gonna try to document a little bit tomorrow to give you a taste of like what's happening like what uh, all in good measure all in good measure it's it's good things it's just ugh, the times that we live in guys the times that we truly live in but anyways i will love you and leave you if you haven't already please do give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all things that i'm doing and leave a comment say hi i say hi back and don't forget to stay kind stay true and stay laughing and i will see you guys in the next one bye sure what i see cupid don't f with me are you telling me this is a sign she's looking in my eyes and i don't see no other guys are you telling me this is a sign